everyone. Welcome to our goal setting devotional. Today we're going to be discussing goals that fulfill vision. Let's read Habakkuk 2.3. And it says, this vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. That's what we're going to focus on today. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. Now, remember that goals should be written to fulfill God's vision and promises in our lives. In order to fulfill God's vision, we must, first of all, believe the vision that he's given us. We must take action on the vision that he's given us. And we must endure, especially through those times when it looks like the vision may not happen. Those are those moments that we need to continue to believe so that we can receive the reward of seeing our vision fulfilled. Hebrews 10, 35 through 36 says, So do not stop believing God now. Your faith will bring much reward. The reward we're looking for is that fulfilled vision. You must not give up believing. Remember, when you set your goals, there's going to be a time that you're going to say, is this really going to happen? In the middle of the year when you're thinking, maybe it will, maybe it won't, go back to this scripture and remember that you must not give up believing. Then you will do what God wants you to do. Then you will get what he promised you. So every vision comes with a promise of fulfillment. God has many promises for us, but goals are part of the actions that we need to take to help us obtain and actually receive those promises, right? We need to write it down, right? That's the first step. And then he gives us each step in order to see it come to pass. Fulfillment of a vision bring joy, first of all, to God's heart. He wants to see this fulfilled in our lives. Second, it brings joy to our hearts, right? Have you ever written something down? I mean, I just finished going over the goals from last year and I read them and I saw how many had been fulfilled and I had not even known until I went back and wrote and actually noticed what I had written down. And then most of all, it brings joy to those that are impacted by the vision fulfilled. Now, the vision may have to do with your family. The vision may have to do with ministry. The vision may have to do with business because God wants to prosper you so you can help others. So there's a joy in even seeing those that are going to be impacted by it. Now, let's look at the dictionary definition of fulfill. It is to bring to completion or reality, right? We want to bring all those goals to reality, achieve or realize, right? Something desired, something promised or something predicted, right? So for us, it could be a word that God has given us. It could be a prophecy that was prayed over us. And so God wants to see that fulfill. Fulfilling vision establishes the will of God on earth. How does that happen? Well, by fulfilling his purpose in us and fulfilling a need that impacts those that he has given us the vision for, his plans are now established here on earth. Psalms 33, 11 says, but the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purposes of his heart through all generations, right? So God has a plan and there is a plan for our generation. And all we've got to do is hear what God is telling us to write down and see it come to pass. So number one, fulfilling vision fulfills the will of God on earth. Matthew 6, 10, may your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, I remember being a little girl and learning this is part of the Lord's prayer. But it is so powerful because one of the most joyful and satisfying places to be as a Christian is right in the center of God's will. As believers, we live according to God's will. So when we write goals to fulfill his vision for our lives, it establishes his will in us, first of all. Right. And then it also gives us access to those promises so that this scripture can be fulfilled, that his kingdom may come here on earth. So the fulfillment of God's vision also strengthens and nourishes us. And we know that because Jesus said, John 4, 34, he said to them, my food or nourishment to do is to do the will or the pleasure 
of him who sent me and to accomplish and completely finish his work. When we write that vision down and we get it completed and we get it fulfilled, we are fulfilling the work of the Lord. So let's follow Jesus' example by fulfilling the vision that we have received from him. Number two, fulfilling vision fulfills purpose in us, right? Don't we want to live a life of purpose? I know that living a life of purpose gives you joy, gives you a reason to get up in the morning. It makes you excited about what your day is going to look like every day. I really every day wake up and I'm excited and I see God fulfilling his purpose in my life. He has great purpose for us. Remember that. He has plans for us um, and, he, and he has good plans, right? That's what the word says. And his purpose is fulfilled in us when we accomplish the goals that he has inspired us to write. So John, Jeremiah 32, 19 says, your purposes are great. Your acts are mighty. Your eyes see everything people do. God sees what you're doing. God sees that you've written it down. First of all, the Holy Spirit's nudging it. Write it down. Now, okay, now I'm seeing that they're doing the next step. It says your reward, each of them in keeping with their conduct. You do this based on what they have done. So the scripture clearly says that God expects us to be doing something. He's watching us and he rewards us according to our conduct, which means our actions, right? When we are not doing anything, we're missing out on the rewards he has for us and the joy. We're missing out on the joy of his purpose being fulfilled in us. Philippians 2.13 says, for it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. So number three, fulfilling vision fulfills a need for people that we are called to impact as a church. There is so much vision that God has given us and so much vision that we have seen fulfilled. And this is why we're excited every um, start of the year when we write down vision, because we're excited to hear what God is about to do in our lives and in our church for the rest of the year. One of the greatest joys that we also have is really just taking time to pray, right? Stand and believe for it. And then also, it's such a joy to see it fulfilled because, man, it's taken a lot of hard work. It's taken discipline. It's taken sacrifice, right? And not quitting until we see that vision fulfilled. You know, one of the um, visions that has just brought such joy to my heart is our women and children's home. When we started, that home was actually, we purchased it and it was not in good shape. It took a lot of cleanup. Um, we think someone who, um, you know, really did some hoarding lives there. And it took a lot just to empty out the house and then refurbish it and then get everything in place for it. But boy, all of the hard work and all of the time we invested, all of that was gone when we were able to see the moms coming in joyfully, the children running up the stairs with a smile on their face to find their bed that they hadn't had in a long time because they were coming off the streets and now they actually had a bed to sleep on. Wow, what a joy that brought to my heart. I know if it brought joy to my heart, how much joy must that have brought to God's heart to see his kids now having a place to live. So remember, vision should always impact lives. And it continues. Vision that God gives us continues. Today, that home is still receiving children and mamas. And the very first daughter who walked into that home today is a young girl who graduated from high school after having struggling in school. She's now in college. She's in an internship in our ministry and she's doing incredible. And that was only possible because that vision was written. The instructions were followed and it was fulfilled. I want to share scripture with you in Philippians 2, 2 to 4, just to remind you that vision should impact lives. It says, if you've gotten anything at all out of following Christ, if his love has made any difference in your life, if being in a community of the spirit means anything to you, if you have a heart, if you care, then do me a favor, agree with each other, love each other, be deep spirited friends. 
Don't push your way to the front. Don't sweet talk your way to the top. Put yourself aside and help others get ahead. Don't be obsessed with getting your own advantage. Forget yourselves long enough to lend a helping hand. I love vision that fulfills a purpose in me, but also that fulfills and meets a need to help others. So let's write the vision down so that his promises can be fulfilled. Let's work hard towards the goals that will fulfill that vision. And let's celebrate the many people that are blessed when that vision is fulfilled. God bless you.